One of our writers, Karen, she is 25 years old, and as a result, she has a much different frame of reference than I do. So I thought I'd find out how much Karen knows about the past in a segment called, What Does Karen Know? Hi, Karen, Hi. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I miss seeing you in person, but it's lovely uh, to see you uh, virtually this way. It's so nice to see you too. Um, how has been, how has the pandemic been for a 25 year old? Um, I mean, for me particularly, as someone who doesn't go out much to begin with, you know, just a little bit more sadness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready uh, for another trip down uh, my memory lane uh, to see if it, uh, it triggers a memory in you? Yes, I'm excited. I've done some studying. Okay, great. You've, you've studied the 80s, the 90s, and, and whatnot? Oh, shoot, I think I went back too far. Never mind. That's <laughs> How dare you, Karen? How dare you? <laughs> All right, here's, uh, here's our, our first item. Uh, does this mean anything to you, Karen? Um, no, it almost... My initial thought was like a pogo stick, but that's definitely not true. Yep, not a pogo stick. Know, is it like a, a water gun of some kind? It's not a water gun. Uh, Karen, it's a bop it. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, yes, I do. I have heard of bop it. Um, what do you, you what have you heard it. about the old bop it? The, the toy itself tells you to bop it and then you, you bop it. Yeah. And it was That's a hit. All I know. What you oh. just described was popular. Of course, it's not just bop it. You know, you also, I think, yank it, pull it, twist it, twist it, flip it, and then it gets faster and faster. And right as you think you finally outsmarted the bop it, uh -huh. Game over. Anyway, it didn't have a very long shelf life, but it was a big part of our lives for probably like three or four months. Do you know this gentleman? Um, a no, a boxer. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think he's a real boxer or a fictional boxer? I think he's fictional. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, have, you, have you ever seen any of the Rocky films? Oh, no, but I, I know about Rocky. <laughs> Well, that's very unimpressive. I, he, gets, he gets knocked down and then he gets back up. <laughs> yeah, they wrote that yeah. song about him. Tub Thumping by yeah, Jump Tub Thumping was, a, was the uh, Rocky uh, theme song. He would walk Wait. out and they'd play Tub Thumping. By the way, I can't we believe you pulled Tub Thumping. <laughs> I would have thought 0% chance. Do you know who uh, sang Tub Thumping? Um, Yes, oh my God, I do. I know this because it was an answer at a, like a bar trivia thing I went to a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, Ch Chumbawamba. <laughs> well, there you go. Here we are trying, that was a, a Ivan Drago, Ivan Drago. And oh. uh, he said, he was a Russian. And what do you think happened in the fight when they fought? Wait, so is this not Rocky? No, he Wait. fought Rocky. Oh, gotcha. Wait, you thought that was Rocky? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I just can't, that your brain both has room for Chumbawamba and not Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Sylvester Stallone? Okay. Never mind, yeah. I mean, we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, no chance, do you know who this is? Oh, no. It looks like Yvonne Drago going to a party. <laughs> <laughs> we probably shouldn't have put those two next to each other. Does, Max Headroom mean anything to you? Um, no, um, yeah, sorry. That's Max Headroom. He was, um, he was basically presented to us as sort of an AI type fella. He had a show, a very brief show, but then more importantly, he became a sort of television pitch man for New Coke. Like the drink? Yeah. Oh, did you, fun? Did you hear about New Coke? Did you hear about this? Is it, by now, is it just what we call Coke? There was new Coke. Okay. Then they went back to Coke Classic, right? Yeah, that's where we are now. We had Coke Classic. Yeah. But we just call it Coke. Right. All right. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Oh, no. I'm sorry, but she looks so nice. You think she looks nice? Okay. <laughs> Give oh, it, based on her look, what would you guess she did for a living? Um... Uh, probably owned lots of property. Okay, I think technically yeah. there was some property issues with what she was doing. Okay, was well, she like some sort of host presenter type person? Yeah, she had a she had a television show. Her and her husband were presenters. 
Okay. And what do you think they were talking about? When you see a lady like that, what do you think she's telling you to do? Uh, to get your life in order. <laughs> yes, there was some mm -hmm. of that. Um, mm -hmm. And if you were to follow one person to get your life in order. Oh, Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> My grandma will be so happy by yeah, the Jesus Yeah, yeah, that was Tammy Faye Baker. And uh, she uh, she was married to a hot piece of garbage uh, <laughs> who's closer to the devil than Jesus. I think that's safe to say, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they, they were, uh, they had a television show, Tammy Faye and, uh, and Jim Baker. And Jim's still around, and, uh, and she is sadly, uh, rest in peace, Tammy Faye Baker. I think she got the raw end of the deal. Uh, that's, where I, that's where I land on that one. Um, Here's our next one. Who's this? Oh, just a cool guy. He is a cool guy. Cool is actually half of his name. Is it Mr. Cool? No. Oh. But I'm gonna, uh, you're never going to get it, so don't just keep guessing. Cool Red. <laughs> I'm going to keep guessing. Please, Karen, I'm telling you you're not going to get it. <laughs> cool Dude. <laughs> Please, Karen, this is going to go on forever. Cool Bug. <laughs> <laughs> he was a pitch man as well. Also for soda. What soda was this gentleman? His name is Cool Spot. Mountain Dew. No, but you're thinking Sprite. of the right color can, but it's not Mountain Dew. Sprite? Again, same color, but amazingly, you're going to guess the right one last. Wait, what? There's Mountain Dew, there's Sprite. There's another one that's green and yellow? Or one, two, green three, and four, red? Five, six. Eight, eight. Wait, what did you just say? I said one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven up. <laughs> there we go. He was the oh, seven up cool spot, and uh, that was probably my early teens. And that's the kind of gentleman I needed to tell me what to be drinking. Nice. Again, it was him or that, uh, or Max Headroom. I didn't have a lot right. of choices. Cool, well, uh, once again, I feel like we've uh, accomplished not a ton, but I think we've enjoyed our time together. Yeah, this has been really fun. Oh, but there's more. Oh, right. This is the yes. part I, I always forget about. You uh, now, uh, you, a person of a different generation, is going to see if I know anything about uh, your the things in your life. Yes, these were things that were important to me growing up. Okay, and just to clarify, look. you've never seen these pictures before. All right. Do you um, know who she is? That looks like a young Tammy Faye Baker. On her way oh to my school. Gosh. That could be uh, a that's a children's book. Is it a children's yes. book character? Mm -hmm. Um, God, we're, we're we're reading some kids' books now because of the boys, but I don't I don't think we've read this one. Uh, is she is she a crime solver? Oh, actually, kind of in one of the books. So this is Kit Kittredge. Kit uh, Kittredge. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's an American girl doll. Oh, she's an American girl doll. I yeah, I, yeah. Well, I, this is the book before the doll, but she's great. She lived during the Great Depression, um, and she was really into writing and stuff. I'm glad she can be so upbeat while the country starved. <laughs> it's glad things are going all... okay for Kit. Yeah. <laughs> not the probably not a crossover with the Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> uh, like all it... right, let's uh, let's take a look at one more. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are um, these are like talking vegetables, right? Yeah, the, is it is it some sort of pun off vegetables or something? Yeah. The veg the veg to the veg to peoples. No, but keep going. The veg to uh, the veg to the veg to bros. Uh, Ooh, the the uh, veg to I don't know. It's um it's called Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Yeah. Man. And it's great. Um, they tell you a lot of Bible stories. Do they really? Mm -hmm. So they're the real Tammy Faye Baker in all this. Yeah, they're very effective. Uh, were they effective? Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess in the end that was probably the reason we didn't go to church that much in our family is no vegetables told us the upside. Uh, Karen, yeah. once again, I feel like we're even closer than we were before because we've shared uh, our, our different generational attractions. Thank you so much for the time. Bye, thank you. This has been What Does Karen Know?